Hi, my name is Mark Duplessis. I'm a managing director at Accenture. I lead the Southeast Asia security practice, and this is my hot take on the evolving landscape of cybersecurity. The cybersecurity landscape has moved from where it used to be, which was more around infrastructure and perimeter and protecting, keep people out, make sure they stay out. From that point, it's evolved to where we are now, which is about applications, microservices, cloud, and extending what was the perimeter out to the end device. The other thing that's changed is from infrastructure to be very application-based. So we're asking for developers who have full code, full stack experience, end-to-end. -end. And the biggest change has been companies' adoption of cloud. They see that they can get value out of it and from a security angle. So it's secure. We've seen companies adopt it to take savings, make savings and be more efficient. And as that's changed now through COVID, so everything's accessible, we see that shift accelerating. It's always been important. Let me say that we as security practitioners have always thought cyber is important. But it's been difficult to justify the cost of cybersecurity because previously cyber wasn't part of having to do business. So since digitization, as we've moved data around cross-border, cross-countries, cross-cloud, cross-everything, in the past, nobody held your data. Governments held your data. Maybe a bank held your data. And they were extremely regulated because they held your data. Now we're seeing ride-hailing companies become banks and insurance companies. Those organizations weren't set up to have that same regulation. That's why I think there's more tension. So that's why cyber is beginning to be paid attention to. That combined with COVID now, where everyone's working remotely and accessing cloud, and then finally combined with the amount of ransomware and other attacks is why cyber is important right now. These days, it's not about protection. There's resilience that's needed. So I protect, but I'm also ready. Accenture has this thing about end-to-end. -end. In our security practice, we look at a business across their value chain. So I'll use my example. I'm an oil and gas guy. So oil and gas in particular has a very wide end-to-end -end. from plants, from oil refineries, from rigs. Data comes from there into the IT environment, which changes every three years. Boom, 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 I want digitization, monetization. And then the final end to that is how do I use that to maybe have a petrol card? That entire end-to-end -end is what companies need to protect. And if you've got data flowing through there, you can secure your plants. We'll show you how to secure your plants. How do you move to the cloud? How do you do high-end processing and sharing of data securely with your customers, with your supply chain down the bottom. And that's our philosophy within the Accenture security uh, practice is protect the end-to-end, -end, but be ready for resilience. Practice. Practice that you're going to get hacked. We are getting more and more people switching, which is why I'm, I'm happy you asked that question. Now, your background, so your technical ability, your path through your life, doesn't matter. I'll give you my example. I didn't have a degree. I was a musician until I was about 28, 29. I started doing IT, left IT, opened a recording studio, of course. And then at about 32, 33, I really paid attention to cyber. I'd done bits of it before, but I started with paying attention to things like risk and governance. That's when my career took off. And that allowed me to then do a degree and, and carry on doing other things. So the switch mid-career is a very good time to do it because people understand themselves. If someone wants to, they feel like they will start wanting to do cyber as a career, the only piece of advice I'd give is have a sense of mission. If your mission is to dig, look for answers to questions of who got hacked and why, how do I protect, how do I prepare organizations, come join. Cyber is amazing. It doesn't matter where you come from. I think cybersecurity will change quite drastically in the next 10 years. As people move to the cloud, a rising phenomenon, if you want to call it, is called zero trust. Zero trust, I believe, will be the foundation for everything that happens in the cloud. So it allows you to go, okay, I'm not going to give you access on one transaction until I know who you are. I trust no one. I authorize everything. So for us, that big change will lead to certain skills being needed. And that's how cyber people will change, I believe, too. The fact that you have to authorize and approve each transaction or each connection will rise to more people needing to be digital identity people, more cloud developers, for example. I also think that, that 5G will change how we do security over the next decade. 5G 
will finally bring the realization of the promise of IoT. We've got to protect against attacks on those because if you get 10,000 devices connected to a 5G network and they'll attack you, you're in trouble. So I think that will also be an area that we need to look at. And that was my hot take on the evolution of the cybersecurity landscape and how businesses and workforces should evolve. Thanks for watching.